Hey, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios, and today we'll be setting up some splines in our Unity project using the free splines tool. To show off some examples, we'll be using the Polygon Sci-Fi City Pack and Sci-Fi Worlds. So to start off, we're using Unity 2022. If we head to Window, Package Manager, and then under the Unity Registry, we'll search for splines, and we'll install this into our project. If you're wanting some samples to have a look at, we'll click the Samples tab and Import. And you'll see here that the samples require Shadowgraph to be installed, so in the search, We'll type in Shadowgraph and we'll click install. So we'll be starting off with the Sci-Fi City Pack. We'll create a spline around the outside of this road and we'll use that spline to generate some game objects for us. And then we'll have total control over the placement of those game objects. So we'll start creating our spline. We'll go Game Object, Spline, Draw Spline Tools. And you see we get this little gizmo here that helps us generate our spline. So we're clicking on the ground and giving ourselves enough points that we can round off the edges. Doesn't matter if you get this in the wrong spot, as we can manually adjust that later. So we'll just work our way around. And then when we're done, we'll press escape on the keyboard. Clicking on the points of our spline, you can see we have all the manual adjustments here. So we can adjust the height, as well as the rotation. So for these, we'll set the rotation back to zero. Once we've gone through and made all our manual adjustments, got everything to our liking, then on our spline, we'll add component, splines, spline instantiate, and we'll add a game object in here, and then we'll drag it in. So with our current setup, everything is aligned to the spline element. So if our spline is rotated, all of the game objects will match the rotation. So that's the main reason that we reset our rotation for the spline points back to zero. And using one of the demo scenes from Sci-Fi Worlds, what we'll be doing is creating a spline through the scene, and we'll be getting one of the planes to follow the spline and do a little bit of a rotation as it goes through the scene. So to get started, we'll go to scene, and then like before, game object, spline, draw spline tools. And so the plane will need to come from back behind here and then fly through. So if we go over to where we want it to start and we'll left click. And like before, these can be rough and then we'll just adjust them later. And then escape to exit out. And we'll go through and make the finer adjustments. Just as a good starting point, we'll reset the rotation. Coming to where our camera is, you can see where our spline will roughly go. We'll go to the start of the spline. We'll drag in the aircraft that we want to use on this game object. We'll go Add Component, Splines, Spline Animate. For the spline, we'll select the spline that we've set up earlier. And then for the duration, we'll set this to 40, just to slow it down a little bit. And we'll just test how that looks. So the last thing we'll look at doing is applying a bit of a rotation to the aircraft. And it's quite simple to do. If we select our spline, and we'll toggle it on here so we can modify it. And then selecting the spline point, and then if we go to rotate, you can see we can rotate the point of the spline. That little line there will give us an indication as to which way the spline is facing. So we've tweaked our spline to our liking, so we'll press play and just see how it looks. So that's the basics of the Unity Spline tool. We can help speed up level design and add some extra depth to your game. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.